<laughs> okay, so in the real world, what are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about being too busy to roller skate. Wah, wah. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever been too busy to roller skate? Babe, you know that. I'm asking for the sake of the people. I know. Yes. Um, actually, I think I went two weeks. Um, that's embarrassing. Without skating. I don't know how it slipped away. Was it really two weeks? Where was Memorial Day? I don't know. Yeah, Memorial Day was the last day, and then I put my skates on today, as in Sunday, when we're recording this, um, just real quick, and I've just been so freaking busy, and it sucks. Yeah, and you've been, like, really tired every time you come home. Yeah, when I do have time, I'm, like, tired, or, like, drinks, it's so freaking hot, like, I thought I was gonna skate last weekend, and then we painted the ramp, I thought I was gonna skate this weekend, but then we had to prep for the whole vending event, and it's just, like, always one thing or other, like, it's like, oh, work, school, therapy, podcast, edit, podcast, <laughs> Do Queer Girl Straight Skates, which hopefully the next thing we do for Queer Girl Straight Skates, I'm actually in my skates, which would help. Um, but yeah, I just feel like there's no time to skate. And when I do have time, I'm just so freaking tired. I honestly understand this. Um, mine is like way less than yours. Like I'm like, oh man, I haven't skated in so long, but really it's been like three days. But I feel like if I don't skate every day, I just feel like I'm missing something. But some days, it's just like, I'm so, so, so busy. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because both of us are in a spot where we're too busy to be skating as much as we'd like to be skating. And I also get a lot of people in my inbox asking about this. Like, a lot of people expressing, like, I'm a nurse and, you know, I work these long shifts and then I come home and I'm just exhausted. Like, I can't mm. put my skates on. I want to skate so bad. Or I'm in school and then I work full time and I want to skate, but, like, I'm just, at the end of the day, I can't, like, I'm so tired or, like, I can't get up early. I already have to get up early for work. And so I think it's important to talk about this because... I don't ever hear people talking about this. Like, I don't ever hear people talking about, like, being too busy to skate because I think it's kind of stigmatized within the skate community. Like, you prioritize skating. You make time for skating. And I think that we should, you know, like, take a breath and talk about how maybe it's actually pretty normal, especially when you are an adult and you have, like, all these responsibilities. Wait, ding, 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 ding. That's the whole thing. That's why a lot of people don't talk about it. A lot of the skate community we see skating all the time and advancing really fast are people that probably work part-time jobs that only have to go to school like and live at home with their parents and don't have big people bills to pay so yeah they have time to skate every day for hours and create countless of contents because they don't have full-time jobs yeah and I just think that that can get discouraging when you're watching on the internet you know like you're watching these people do you know, go to the skate park all the time or, like, get these dance moves down that you're like, oh, man, like, I wish I could do that or I wish I would have the time to go on a trail skate or what have you. And it can get discouraging. And I just, I kind of wanted to let you know that you're not alone. Like, that you are definitely in a group of people that there's actually a lot more people, like, struggling with this than you probably realize. And that it's very normal for you yeah, to feel that way. Yeah, and then you do feel guilty because it's like, I would, I hit over a hundred days straight, like skating and I felt like I was advancing and doing so good. And then it was just like, Oh, a little slip here. And then it was like, Oh, back skating. And then it was like, Oh, I used to be able to put my skates on at work, but now we're so freaking busy. I can't even put my skates on at work. And then it's just like adds up more and more. And then you're just like, wait, how many days has it been? And then you feel like the pressure to put your skates on instead of wanting to, but there shouldn't be pressure. It should just mm -hmm. be like, oh, when I have time and I feel good, I'll skate. It shouldn't feel like this thing that's looming is like, you gotta skate, you gotta skate. It should be like, oh, dude, yeah, I got a I got free time. I'm feeling good. Let's skate. Not like something that's like a, a task that you have to check off, like a little thing to t check off your to-do list. Yeah. I, the other day, I was just thinking about um, when we lived in our old house and how we used to like go and skate all the time. Like, we were yeah. always going on skate adventures, like, every day or, yeah. like, every other day. Like, we would go and skate, even if it was just, like, 
you know, to go grab a coffee mm -hmm. or to the 7-Eleven or something. And I miss that. Like, I miss just, like, skating in the street with you and stuff. But yeah. life has changed so much since then, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, nowadays, I know I, like, is another thing that people talk to me. They're like, how do you even do it? Like, you're so busy. And Shove is so busy, too. Like, Shove has, like, what do you have in, in a given week? I mean, I guess you just kind of talked about it, but. Monday, 9 to 5. Tuesday, 9 to 4. Then go straight to school from 5 to 10. Come home at 10.30. Have stress where I can't sleep till 1 in the morning. Sleep restlessly. Do it all over again till 10 o'clock. Then the next day, same thing till 10 o'clock. <laughs> so that's what, like 13 hour days. And then on Friday, I just work from 9 to 5. And then I get home and then it's like... Maybe a rest time, maybe podcast, or maybe put the podcast off till Sunday. Um, therapy is usually somewhere within that week, like in the morning too. Uh, what else we got? We had a queer girl episode, queer girl straight skates episode that we record on either Saturday or Sunday. We were busy this week, so now that's gonna fall on my Monday. Um, then I use half of a day to like not half of a day, but like one day after work, I'll like edit the podcast, which will take like sometimes two hours. Um, yeah, and then I also like to fulfill my orders from my Shopify and my Etsy. So, like, it just feels like constantly there's something going on. And then I talked to my therapist about feeling like time is just constantly fleeting and I never have time to, like, do anything really. And things have just fallen off. Like, there was a big chunk where I, I was waking up at 6 a.m. every day. I was doing yoga. I would make us coffee. Um, I went to work. I already had caffeine in my body, full beat face cute outfit went in and just like fuck shit up and did a good job and then like I don't know if it's like I'm depressed again and just don't know it but like now I'm just always tired I can't I just keep putting snooze on um my body doesn't feel good because I'm not stretching again and it's just like everything just dropped off and like even spiritually like I don't do anything anymore it's just work in school work in school yeah, I mean, well, school started back up is what happened. Yeah, no, but even before school started off, like, remember? Like, I stopped waking up early and, like, doing those things. Yeah. Yeah, and so sometimes we just get into these points in our life where we're just, like, way too busy to do anything. And it's hard. I think it's hard when so much of your social persona is around something that, you know, is fun but also is not something that pays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I you know. know. Like my Instagram looks so dull because you can tell I haven't been skating because there's like nothing. <laughs> it's just like blank. And then it's like one of those things where it's like I know I usually can be like, oh, wow, like I've gained followers or this and that or people are really liking this post or like are getting something, a um, positive message. And then it's like nothing because <laughs> I feel like I can only post things that are skate related. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. I mean, I definitely, so I picked up a new YouTube channel. So I'm now running three YouTube channels. I mean, like with you, one of them. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I have several jobs and I also, you know, I'm doing a bunch of other stuff. And so I also feel like weird, but I feel like I should definitely be like, reaching out to people to skate with them because we can now but I also feel like it's so weird being like okay I created this life for myself for the last year and a half that doesn't involve being social at all and I've all those gaps that I used to use with being social like I filled with other stuff you know running my business or doing whatever I don't even know what I do but I do stuff and now I'm like, oh, like, what do I cut away to be social again and to, like, go skating with people? Like, I used to be all over that, and I haven't done it in so long. Hmm. I don't know. You'll get there. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, like, don't feel guilty, y'all. Like, I mean, it's going to happen, but just remember the reasons why we're skating, and I think it's okay if you're taking a break because you literally just physically can't or because you have no time, it's okay. Your skates will be there waiting for you. 
Yeah, definitely. And sometimes, like, something that I was thinking about doing recently, it and by recently I mean, like, literally a couple hours ago when we were planning this out, I was thinking about this, is, oh, maybe I should, because something I've been really considering to try and, like, make my life feel less stressful is to have more of a morning routine. And so I was thinking, like, yeah, like, a morning routine can literally be 10 minutes. So what if I woke up, and it doesn't even matter what I'm wearing because I'm not, like, taking pictures or video or anything, and I just skated for 10 minutes? Like, what if I did that every morning? I had a thought last week where I was like, what if I woke up early again? I mean, if I woke up early enough again, but then forced your tired, sleepy butt to get up, too, because you never get up. You hate mornings. I know. I'm the worst. And was like, let's skate to Stillhead and get a coffee and then skate back, because even that would be, like, a short skate. Yeah, like, I think that that's such a good idea. Like, just, like, forcing skating into the routine somehow. Um, but then you shouldn't have to force it. But I, I don't think that it's about... Like, because it's clearly something that I want to do. You know what I mean? Like, so it's not... Like, ma- I yeah, just don't like the word force. I think, like, yeah. making room for skating. Yeah, I think that that's a better way to put it. Because I think that, like, I want to skate more often. But I prioritize other things a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And that's also exemplary for me of not prioritizing myself. Because for me, skating is a way of self-care. And so... I need to find ways to make room for that self-care and to Mm -hmm. prioritize that self-care because honestly, I prioritize work a lot of times because I'm like, oh, I need to make sure like I can provide for my family or whatever. And like, if I'm not a full person to be able to work and provide for my family, then I'm just going to get burnout. Mm -hmm. And for me, skating is one of the ways that like fuels that. So that's like a solution that I'm thinking of, but that might not necessarily work for you in your situation. You just have to like find out what works for you. How often do you realistically want to skate? Once you decide that, then find a way to prioritize skating that often. True that. Yeah. All right. That is the wheel world.